the thing that like I've noticed in my life is like the more stressed I am about a thing, the worse I am at it. And I've had like times with chicks where like there is uh you can put this in, I don't give a shit. There is a girl down in uh Charleston that was at the uh she was the bartender like every week of the open mic that I uh hosted mm-hmm. and just I'm gorgeous, dude. Amanda, you're so beautiful. Wait, who's, wait, where does she work? Uh, LA Borough Mini Bar. She's so gorgeous, my guy. And, I, might, uh, I would have to go back down there. She's so fucking pretty. And she's so cool. And like, she's just awesome fucking chick. Huge crush on her the entire time. I mean, I hosted the mic there for eight months or whatever, you know? Yeah. And um, so fucking gorgeous. Always was just like, uh, but like, we're like coworkers in a way, you know? And sure. like, also there's like, just like the stipulation on comedians being fucking creepy or whatever the hell. And like, just like all that stuff. So like, I was just like very cordial and like, I just like, I'm at a boy. Yeah. I appreciate you being here. I don't want to fuck with you. You know, I don't want to make you uncomfortable, but like, I like flirt with her here and there. And I always like kind of had the vibe of like, yeah, she's kind of feeling me, you know? And like, but it was always just like very smooth, very easy flirting, very natural. And like, it was fucking nice. So like she'd come up and give me a hug. <laughs> But like the like last night before like or like one of the last nights before I was gonna move, I was like, uh, hey, do you want to go like get dinner? And like halfway like fucking around, she's like, yeah, sure. And I was like, I was like, why <laughs> didn't I ask you earlier? Like, what the fuck, you know? And then I just was like tripping out about the fucking dinner. And then I was just uh, the dinner was all right, but I was just like halfway a fucking weirdo. I felt. And then uh, <laughs> we, I fucking, I was just feeling all anxious and weird. And we like walked back to the car and then I was like, so uh, you want to go back to my, your place? And she's like, no, no, not at all. <laughs> and, then, and then fucking like two days later, <laughs> and then like two days later, I left uh, for Austin and dude, I did the fucking thing where you're like driving and I text her, I go, Hey, you know, should I have kissed you that night? And then never texted me back and I'm driving like, you idiot dog you fucking idiot and I, I just like the stress and the anxiety just making me a fucking idiot and that's what like any time that i felt that like stress and anxiety before i go on stage i just like look like a fucking idiot but any time that i'm just like oh yeah this audience is just like another cool time like i'm just going to dinner and it's gonna be fun you know then it's all right but yes. that's it like that same thing <laughs> that same thing i think like once like the girl on a date picks up that like you're feeling stressed or whatever. She's like, okay, I don't want to spend any more time with this guy. This is a weird yeah. time, you know? Yeah. And then she doesn't want to do it. When the audience picks up that like you're feeling stressed or whatever, you're like, oh, this guy's not funny. I'm not going to lie. I don't want to spend more time with this guy. Dude, you know? the audience is a woman. It's a date. I, it's a date. It's a date, dude. They, uh, it's a date, but then they're that's nervous. The thing. They're nervous. Just like you're nervous. They're nervous. You're going to, it's going to be awkward. They're nervous. You're going to suck. They're nervous. You're going to suck. They're nervous. It's going to be awkward. They're nervous that they're not, that they're going to laugh too loud. Have you ever had that? I've been sitting in like audience and I'm like, am I not laughing enough? Am I laughing too much? Should I not laugh at this? Should I laugh? 